హాయ్ ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు పీవైక్యూ సిరీస్ లెట్ డిస్కస్ వన్ ప్రీవియస్ పేపర్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆఫ్ స్టడీ షేడ్ ఏసీ సర్క్యూట్స్ స్టడీ షేడ్ ఏసీ సర్క్యూట్స్ ఫస్ట్ జస్ట్ రీడ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద గివెన్ నెట్వర్క్ ఈస్ ద ఆర్ఎల్ సిరీస్ సర్క్యూట్ ఆర్ఎల్ సిరీస్ సర్క్యూట్ now you give the statement as a initially this operating frequency initially this operating frequency is a 100 hz when out this operating frequency is 100 hz at that instant you give the statement as a voltage across the resistance and voltage across the inductor both have the voltage drop of the in terms of it was given in the urms that means when out the frequency equal 100 h at that instant voltage across the resistor and inductor both are exactly equal that is equal to give the statement as a urms urms then in the question what is asking when out the source frequency change to when out the this source fre- source frequency change to 50 h now you have to find out the voltage across the resistance you have to find out voltage across the resistance chalo check karenge <coughs> in this example first if you observe the phasor diagram in the series circuit current the all the elements are the same in the series circuit current the all the elements are same to develop phasor diagram let us take the current as a reference with respect to current voltage across the resistance voltage across the resistance is a in phase and with respect to current voltage across the inductor voltage across the inductor is a leading by an angle 90 degrees we have taken current as a reference reason is a, in the series circuit current of the all elements are the same current of the all elements are same and uh, some of these two voltages some of these two voltage is equal to input voltage input voltage now come to case 1 now according to this given information according to given information initially what the frequency how much 100 hertz initially frequency is 100 edge case 1 case 1 frequency is 100 now from the phasor diagram from phasor diagram if you write the voltage relations vr square and the vl square in the question statement given as a vr and vl both are exactly equal that is equal to urms if you simplify this one we can write this input voltage we can write the input voltage in terms of urms we got this input voltage in terms of the urms and as well as in the series circuit in this series circuit current of the all the elements are the same the current of the all the elements are the same in the question it was given as a vr and vl both are exactly equal vr and vl both are exactly equal in the series circuit current the all the elements are same if you expand this one we can add the i into r we can add the i into xl i into xl from this one get one more relation what is the one more relation r equal to xl r equal to xl that means with respect to the case one data first we got the input voltage in terms of urms and we got one more relation the relation between the resistance and the inductive reactance resistance and inductive reactance in the case to what we are doing we are modifying the source frequency we are modifying the source frequency what is the xl formula xl is equal to we can write this as 2 pi fl this xl equal to 2 pi fl from this one you can conclude as a this inductive reactance is directly proportional to frequency inductive reactance directly proportional to frequency 
Now, when the frequency changes from 100 to 50, inductive reactant changes, but the resistance value will not change. Resistance value remains same. Resistance value remains same. And in this example, we are saying is exactly directly proportional. Directly proportional. In the case two, in the case two, what the operating frequency is a 50 h. When compared to case one, in the case two, the frequency becomes exactly half. The new inductive reactance, let us name as XL dash. New inductive reactance, let us name as XL dash. Here we concluded the frequency and inductive reactance both are exactly directly proportional. When order the frequency becomes a exactly half, the inductive reactance also becomes exactly half. The new inductive reactance. The new inductive reactance is the XL dash. XL dash we wrote in terms of the XL. But the resistance value will not change. Resistance value will not change. In the question, what is asking the voltage across the resistance? Voltage resistance. Provided the supply frequency is a 50 H. Provided supply frequency is a 50 H. Now for this one, first let us find out the current. Now, when out this uh, inductive reactant changes, thereby impedance in network also changes. Impedance in network also changes. When out the impedance changes, the current in the network also changes. Current network also changes. Then we can write this as a input voltage. Input voltage by corresponding impedance to the network. Corresponding impedance to the network. What is our given network is a RL series circuit. Here the resistance value remains same. Resistance value will not change. But the new inductive reactance, what are the new inductive reactance is the XL dash. In this one, we have to observe as a whenever the frequency changes, frequency changes, the voltage magnitude will not change. The input voltage will not change. Here the input voltage magnitude is remains same. We are modifying the only frequency. We are modifying the only frequency. We are not changing the input voltage. We are not changing the input voltage. Uh, then in the question, what is asking voltage across the resistance? In the question, is asking the voltage across the resistance. When all the current changes, when all the current changes, obviously we can notice the voltage of resistance also. But if you observe the options, in the options are given. If you observe the options here, all the options are given in terms of URMS. All the options are given in terms of the URMS. Mm. We need the voltage across the resistance. Then this uh, I dash replaced by corresponding mathematical equation. Corresponding mathematical equation. But finally, what we need? We need the answer in terms of URMS. To conclude this one in terms of URMS, can you use our case one relations also? Can you use the case one relations? First, let us come to input voltage. The input voltage magnitude is remain same in the case one and the case two. Then here, We already concluded input voltage in terms of URMS. What are the input voltage? Input voltage, you can write this as a root 2 times of URMS. Root 2 times of URMS. And uh, we have to simplify the remaining expressions. Now, to simplify this one easy way, in place of the R, in place of the R, can you write its inductive reactance? In place of R, can it its inductive reactance? In the case of we already got one relation, magnitude of R, magnitude of XL, both are exactly equal. In terms of magnitude, we can write this way R equal to XL, R equal to XL. Then to simplify this equation, to simplify this equation, can I write this here? In place of R, we can, we are, can write this one. <coughs> mm. 
or magnitude we are writing in terms of the xl. The resistance magnitudes remain same in the case 1 and the case 2. Okay. Come to the denominator. In place of r we are writing the xl. Come to xl dash. Now just now we concluded what about this xl dash we got in terms of the xl. When the frequency becomes a half, the corresponding inductive reactance also becomes exactly half. Xl by 2. Then by simplify this equation. Mm. Then if you simplify this equation. Can you cancel this entire term? We can write this as a root 8 by 5, root 8 by 5 URMS. In the question, what is asked in the voltage across the resistance, voltage resistance provided the frequency is a 50 H. In the options are given in terms of the URMS. Whenever you are solving the steady state AC circuit problems first be thorough with the phasor diagrams because in the every step magnitude and angle both are the included. If you come to DC only there you consider the magnitudes that is why the D solving the DC circuit problem is a little easy when compared to AC circuit. In the AC circuit first be thorough with the respect to phasor diagrams.